guys to another video and um, today we're just going to do a quick oil change service on the 525d um, m57 engine uh, nice and straightforward this one should take no more than 20 minutes so um, yeah I will do an engine detail on this um, at a later date um, but let's get on with that um, oil change first and then um, yeah we'll crack on with uh, engine detail in a very very near future video uh, let's crack on this um, 5 Series has for once got its jacking pad. Most of them either fall off or get nicked, so that's good to see. Right, so first off, let's crack off the drain plug on the sump. And um, yeah, if you've got a if you've got a handy little catch can like this, that's always helpful. So I'll go on there and do that now. Right, so I'm just going to spray off any old residual oil around the actual sump plug. That's just a 17 mil. Someone's done this up incredibly tight. Okay, that's not meant to be that tight. All right, breaker bar. There you go. Well, it does have a washer on the end of it. Um, and yeah, we can replace that. Just make sure you don't lose the actual no, the bolt itself. And there you go. Right, so we're just gonna, as it's draining, we're just gonna replace the crush washer. Put that onto the new bolt. Right, so they're always just finishing draining. So, what we'll do is we'll pop the um, drain plug back in with the new crush washer. Make sure we don't thread it. Right, so we're just about hand tight. What I'll do now is get some brake cleaner and just clean that off. Once that's clean, we'll just what we'll do is we'll just torque it back up again. Um, I haven't got a torque wrench here, but just make sure that it's it's not overly tight but just enough so that it completely seals so i would just say like so make sure it is like so yep once done they can pop your cover back up like so just give that a quick wash down the oil filter all you need to do is um, use a 32 mil socket and unscrew this so we'll do that now 32 mil just pop the breaker bar on it a bit easier So we'll just unscrew it now, and then what we'll do is we'll put it back into this container, like so. This is just a press fit, there you go. So it just comes off like that. Pop that in there. Just grab the new um, oil filter. There you go. That's that on. What we'll do now is we'll just pry off this o-ring and we'll pop that on right so literally just taking that off so just hook it underneath the o-ring and then you can then move around and pop it off and that goes in the bin grab your fresh one 
put a dab of um, fresh oil on it. Right, so some fresh oil, slide it in from the bottom. Slide back into place. And then you can then screw this directly back in. Right, there's no locating hole on the M57, sorry, M57 engines. On the N50, on the N47 and the N57, there's actually a locating lug, because so you've got to make sure the filter pops into that first. If you try and do this, it will end up snapping that, and you don't want that in your engine, so just make sure that's in first. But on this, you can put it directly on the filter housing and actually do it up. Um, if that's not very clear, just let me know, and I'll explain in more detail, but let me know in the comments below there you go so that's all done up so all that's left to do now is take the dipstick out make sure there's nothing left in there if there's not and it's about eight liters to fill this up it's probably going to be more like seven for me but that's how we get on Gonna fill my jug up now with a litre and do a litre at a time. Just for your information, this is 5W30. Right, so we'll just check um, dipstick again. I've filled it up to about seven liters. And yeah. Just up to max there, so perfect. Give everything a quick spray down. And there you go, all done. So there you go guys, that's how you do an oil change on an M57 engine. Um, applies to N M47s as well. Um, take about eight liters or so. Um, and yeah, what's left to do is just run the car up, make sure it's all okay. And um, yeah, that's literally it. It's nice and simple, do it yourself. Honestly, it's not too bad at all. Just need a 16 mil socket and um, a 32 mil socket for the actual oil filter and um, yeah it's nice and quick um, just drop us a comment below like and subscribe and um, i'll catch you in the next one see you later